Hello, Furley family. Today, we're going to read one of Dr. Seuss's books called Oh Say Can You Say. And this book is filled with terrible tongue twisters. So let's see if Miss Maria can do it, because sometimes it's really hard for her, too. Said a book reading parrot named Hooey. The words in this book are all fooey. When you say them, your lips will make slips and backflips, and your tongue may end up in St. Louis. Do you like fresh fish? It's just fine at Finney's Diner. Finney also has some fresher fish that's fresher and much finer. But his best fish is his freshest fish, and Finney says with pride, the finest fish at Finney's is my freshest fish, French fried. So don't order the fresh or the fresher fish at Finney's. If you're wise, you'll say, fetch me the finest French fried freshest fish that Finney fries. We all have a dinosaur named Din. Din's thin. Din doesn't have much skin. And the bones fell out of his left front shin. Then we have to call him Pinner Blin, who comes with his handy shin pin bin. And with a thin Blin shin bone pin, Blin pins Din's shin bones right back in. Bed spreaders spreads spreads on beds. Bread spreaders spread butters on breads. And that bed spreader better, watch out how he's spreading on that bread spreaders, sure gonna butter his bedding. Do we butter bedding? I don't think so. Ape cakes, great cakes. As he gobbled the cakes on his plate, the greedy ape asked as he ate, the greener green grapes are, the keener keen apes are to gobble green grape cakes. They're great. Are you having trouble saying this stuff? It's quite easy for me. I just look in the mirror and see what I say. And then I just say what I see. Now let's talk about money. You should leave your Grox home when you travel by air. If you take him along, they charge double the fare. And your Grox must be packed and locked up in a Grox box, which cuts cost much, much more than a little old fox box. So it's heaps a lot cheaper to fly with your foxes than waste all that money on boxes for Groxes. And what do you think costs more? A simple thimble or a single shingle? A simple thimble could cost less than a single shingle would, I guess. So I think the single shingle should cost more than the simple thimble would. Eat at Skipper Zips. If you like to eat potato chips and chew pork chops on clipper ships, I suggest that you chew a few chips and a chop at Skipper Zips Clipper Ship Chip Chop Shop. And if your tongue is getting queasy, don't give up. The next one is easy. There are so many things that you really should know, and that is why I'm bothering telling you so. You should know the first names of the Fud Nudler brothers who like to pile each on the heads of the others. If you stop at the tarp, there are Bipper and Bud and Skipper and Jipper and Jeffrey and Judd, Horatio, Horace and Hendrix and Hud. And then come Dinwoody and Dinty and Dud. Also Fitzsimmon and Frederick and Fud. And Slinky and Stinky and Stuart and Stud. And down at the bottom is poor little Dud. But if Lud ever sneezes, his name will be Mud. We have two ducks, one blue, one black. And when our blue duck goes quack quack, our black duck quickly quack quacks back. The quack blue quacks make her quite a quacker, but black is quicker, quacker backer. And speaking of quacks, reminds me of cracks and stacks and sacks and shacks and snacks. So 
Oh, say, can you say? I have cracks in my shack. I have smokes in my stack. And I think there's a snack in the sack on my back. Perhaps. West Beast, East Beast. Upon an island hard to reach, the East Beast sits upon his beach. Upon the West Beach sits the West Beast. Each beast, beach, beast, he thinks he's the best beast. Which beast is best? Well, I thought at first that the East was the best and the West was the worst. Then I looked again from the West to the East and I liked the beast on the East Beach least. Pete's Pat's Pigs. Pete Briggs Pat's Pigs. Briggs Pat's Pink Pigs. Briggs Pat's Big Pigs. Don't ask me why, it doesn't matter. Pete Briggs is a pink pig. Big pig patter. Pete Briggs pats his pink pigs all day. Don't ask me why, I cannot say. Then Pete puts his padded pigs away in his Pete Briggs Pink Pigs Big Pigs Pig pen. How to tell a clots from a glots. Well, the glots, you will notice, has lots of black spots. The clots is quite different with lots of black dots. But the problem is that the spots on a glots are about the same size as the dots on a clots. So you first have to spot who the one with the dots is. Then it's easy to tell who the glots or the clots is. What would you rather be when you grow up? A cup and a cop in a cup cop's cap? Or a cupcake cook in a cupcake cook's cap? Or a fat flapjack flapper in a flat flapped jack cap? Or if you think you don't like cops caps, flapjack flappers, or cupcake cooks caps, maybe you're one of those choosy chaps who likes kooky captain's caps, perhaps. More about Blynn. Well, when Blynn comes home tired from his work pinning shins, the happiest hour of old Blynn's day begins. Mr. Blynn is the father of musical twins who, tucking twin instruments under twin chins, lull their daddy to sleep with twin Blynn violins. And, oh, can you say, far away in Berlin, a musical urchin named Gretchen von Swin has a blue-footed, true-footed, trick-fingered, slick-fingered, six-fingered, six-stringed, tin Schwinn mandolin. There it is. Rope, soap, hoop, soap. If you hope to wash soup off a rope, simply scrub it with scrope. Scrope is so strong that no rope is too long. But if you wish to wash soup off a hoop, I suggest that it's best to let your whole silly souped up hoop soak in Soapy Cooper Super Soup Off Hoop Soak Suds. Merry Christmas Mush. One year we had a Christmas brunch with Merry Christmas Munch, much too much. But I don't think you'd care for such. We didn't like to munch mush much. No, they didn't. And speaking of Christmas, here are some great gifts to give to your daddy. If your daddy's name is Jim, and if Jim swims, and if Jim's slim, the perfect Christmas gift for him is a set of slim Jim swim fins. But if your daddy's name is Dwight, and he likes to look at birds at night, the gift for Dwight that might be right is a bright Dwight bird flight night sight light. Which one would your dad like? But never give your daddy a walrus. A walrus with whiskers is not a good pet. And a walrus with which whispers is worse even yet. When a walrus lips whispers through tough, rough, wet whiskers, 
your poor daddy's ear will get blispers and bliskers. And that's almost enough of such stuff for one day. One more and you're finished. Oh, say, can you say? And that is the end of this book filled with tongue twisters and nonsense words which you've learned in class. Can you do it? See you again later, early family.